Hi there. Um, I've had my SC4 lathe uh, probably about four months now. And when I first got it, I checked everything out and everything worked fine. And uh, the correct method of operation is to use the start and stop buttons. And really, the emergency stop button should only be used for emergencies. And uh, press the power on button, hit start, select your speed, hit stop. And um, the other day, when I was using the machine, um, the, the front of the emergency stop button, which screws on, just fell off on the floor. So, I put it back on, and um, just a matter of course, just thought I'd test it. And lo and behold, it doesn't work. So I don't know what's caused it to fail, um, but anyway I've contacted ARC and they've sent me a new one in the post. Um, so when I receive it I'll have a go at fitting it. Now whether it comes with instructions or not I don't know, but I'm guessing it'll be a matter of taking this front panel off. So taking these uh, four screws out. Uh, but we'll have to see when it arrives. When it does arrive um, I'll show you the process I go through to replace it. And fingers crossed, it'll fix the problem. So the switch has arrived, and I'll have a go at installing it. So the machine's all off, isolated from the mains. I'm guessing it's these four screws here, so let's see what happens. So that's the switch, so it's just a matter of unscrewing it and uh, refitting these connections. Okay, so uh, after unscrewing this little bit here, the switch will pull out of the front. Now just to make sure I don't get these wires mixed up, because I need to disconnect them, it's the blues on this side and the blacks on that side, and the top ones I've marked with a felt tip pen. So this is the uh, new switch and uh, lo and behold it doesn't work. So uh, it's back to art for some more advice so it, there must be another problem with the circuitry somewhere. Well I contacted ARC and they uh, reckon that the fault is on the uh, main controller board and they said they, they would send me one in the post. Now I was expecting something sort of fairly small. <laughs> But this arrived in the post today. Crikey. Now on the phone when they spoke to me they said it was um, a simple process of taking the back panel off. Um, but that looks a little bit bigger than the uh, size of the back panel so uh, we'll have to see how we get on with this. So this is the back panel I believe so uh, I'll take it off and We'll have a look. Crikey. Well, I think I need to gain access to the side, so uh, I'm just going to have a look in here where the gears are. Ah, now then. So I'm guessing this needs to come off. Well, I'm thinking that the way to get this out is to actually pull it out this way. And each corner of the board is screwed on to these sort of long pin things. So... I think on this side, I can unscrew those here. So 
save these in my magnetic tray. Ah, so that's loosened that, that's looking good. So if I go now to the back and unscrew on the other side the equivalent screws here, it might slide out. So I'm guessing that the screws I need to take out is there's one there just behind that wire, there's one down here on the other corner. I think if I do that, then it's just a matter of disconnecting the electrical connection. magnetic uh, screwdriver. Ah, that's it. That's the answer. So what I'll do off camera is I think this, this is a plug that just pulls off. I think the side one's a, a plug that pulls off. But I'll label these wires up here because they, these need to be disconnected. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six with a little pen. So I'll do all that off camera. I've disconnected all the wires uh, but I, I just can't pull it out this side. Just catching on this, so I'm gonna have to take this off. This is a little fan here, so you've got to be careful not to uh, catch the wires on this little fan. Um, but it just won't pull out this. So uh, I'll undo these. I'll try and undo these four screws off camera. Well, I've just disconnected that. That actually gets these uh, wires out of the way as well. So hopefully it'll just pull out. Hooray! So I'll uh, just reverse the whole process. Um, but I'll do it all off camera. Well it certainly uh, went back a lot easier than it did coming out. Um, the white plug here uh, that's got a lot of connections on it was quite difficult to undo. But then I realised there's, there's sort of like a lug on this side, on the left hand side. And if you leave that up a bit it's a lot easier uh, to come off. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll put the back cover on and uh, before I put the side cover on, I'll just make sure that the little fan still works. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Hooray! It works. To be honest, this stop button works quicker than that. <laughs> but anyway, well, for anybody out there needing to uh, swap the controller on an SC4 lathe, um, I hope you found the video of interest. So, see you later.